All right, folks. I'm not much of the uh, unboxing horror, but uh, we got this. Hopefully, you can capture a little bit of that. Now, this is probably not much better than some of the measuring components I've already uh, demonstrated, but it has one benefit to it, and that is it doesn't have the need for me to do the measurement and then take a different tool and make the measurement. It does have that, but at least it's integrated. Let's see. Now check this out. The Chinese are outdoing themselves here, boys. Two inches to six inches and in gradients of five ten thousandths. Oh, boys. Look, foam and everything. As I mentioned in the intro, the uh, difference that this has to how I've been doing the board measurements on the uh, Mistress are that it's essentially made to be one tool that gives results without having to transfer that measurement onto a different tool. Alright? We're in the studio here, by the way, where I don't make a lot of videos. I probably should. It's quieter. So essentially, the dial indicator gets introduced into this whole thing. And it gives a direct measurement. It's still indirect if you catch my drift. But at least it's attached to the device while it's being measured. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have any hardcore machinists in my uh, group, not as yet. And uh, with this kind of activity, I don't suspect they will come flocking. But I do watch a lot of serious uh, machinists, and I have something I, I have something of an idea how cool their tools are, and this ain't it. Um, this includes a lot of little tips, just like the... Um, the manual measurement that I had. These tips are only one way kind of thing, so the uh, the end of the tool kind of takes care of the backside, and so there's only one um, axis of, uh, of measurement using these. The only thing that concerns me about it, and I don't think it would be a concern once I get it uh, um, assembled, is that uh, 3.4 is the advertised measure on the original bores of of that of those cylinders so I, I don't think that's going to be a problem I can go to the 3.6 which has enough of a depression for it to be a part of the same range if you catch my drift the 3.4 one is not going to work because if it's measuring accurately it should be beyond 3.4 so I'd have to go to this one but that's fine I, I think that's good and then I think it has some kind of uh, two inch extension that allows you to have a, a doubling factor on some of these uh, some of these things so here we've got a uh, dial gauge and uh, probably a very questionable chummies it ends up fitting onto the end of this which allows us to do our um, board measurements. So this was similarly priced to perhaps buying both the um, the board measuring gauge that I had and the calip the shitty calipers that I had. So um, the only thing I didn't like was obviously taking the half shitty measurement with the or bore gauge and then the half sheet measurement of shitty calipers so this is probably has all shitty wrapped into one and uh, until I see the numbers I don't I don't know but here's some of the specifications I don't know how good that's gonna look and show some of the usage on how you should uh, spin it within the bore to get 
an accurate measurement. And there's how it all kind of goes together, I guess. So anyway, I won't um, try and get any measurements until the weekend come. But uh, this just came via Amazon. And uh, the other thing I do like is this is much heavier than the instrument, um, than those little um, ore gauges that I was using. Like, cause this has some heft to it, and I think it probably has to in order to register anything correctly at all. Now that we have this, we're going to run what we've run. We already tried to run what we've run on the other, and that wasn't uh, entirely fruitful. I really think the numbers I got last time are completely bunk. I've had a look at them again and I've tried to analyze them and I mean just the fact that it was measuring less than the advertised board doesn't that doesn't fucking make sense. It uh, basically cannot happen. So at least I have those I suppose to try to judge these by. And uh, we shall, we shall see. So hopefully on the weekend I got some time. And uh, I'll remeasure all the boards multiple places like I did last time. And see what this device uh, gives us. So anyway, that was, uh, I don't know if that's my first unboxing. Probably was actually, now that I think about it. But, um... Yeah, I love the way they make it look like a an heirloom device, you know. It's fantastic. Um, yes, we will talk soon. I will show you some of these measurements on the weekend. And uh, I have another little surprise of a thing that came from Amazon as well, but uh, I don't want to reveal at this point. That would be uh, giving up, you know, well, I'd be giving up another video idea. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'll be in touch soon, and, uh, we'll see what kind of motherfucking accuracy we can get out of this one. Alright, thank you, talk soon, bye.